Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark and eBay platforms, and I make videos about my journey as a reseller. So in today's video, I first wanted to thank every single one of you who have subscribed to my channel, who watched my videos, who like my videos, who comment on my videos. Because of you, I have finally reached 1,000 subscribers, so that's awesome. Thank you so, so, so much. That's pretty cool. I got a little notification today from YouTube about it. And I was like, yay, that's neat. Like, I wasn't really trying. I never do. <laughs> Too lazy of a person to do that. So that's awesome. It took two years, but we got there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, I wanted to talk a little bit about everything that's going on with, like, reselling and, you know, our world and where I live. So I live in Columbia, well not Columbia, I live in Lexington, South Carolina, like on the border of West Columbia and Lexington, right there in the middle. And I don't know, I think a lot of people are trying to take what's going on right now seriously and they're staying in their homes, they're not going out often, but there's still a great deal of people who aren't listening. Uh, this is a very ignorant state. There's a lot of ignorance in the state and our governor pretty much... I don't know if he's had a press conference today. I have been watching my live stream all day of the news and I haven't seen that come on, but he pretty much said there was no, it was not within his radar to do like a stay at home order for us. He's basically relying on the residents of South Carolina to use their common sense. And if there's two words that don't belong in a sentence together, or is it four words? There you go. See, I'm a prime example. South Carolina and common sense don't belong in the same sense together. We'll just do that, okay? There you go. You're welcome. Anyway, so yeah. We're trying to do our part. Um, my boyfriend, Brian, still has to go out. Still has to work. Um, he repairs ATMs for a living, so that is considered an essential, an essential business, I guess. Because if they break, it's a bank thing, so... I don't know. He's trying to take proper precautions as he's out, you know, sanitizing. His company wanted him to use a bottle of water to wash his hands, but I don't know what good a bottle of water is going to do. So he does use hand sanitizer, and I'm assuming when he comes home he washes his hands. I hope he is. I haven't really noticed, so. Um, I have been homeschooling my daughter. She's nine, and I'm ready for her to go back to school. I have a lot of appreciation for teachers after this last week. Yeah. They really do deserve more money. I'm not going to lie. They do. They, they, yeah. They do. They really do. Um, a lot of the stuff that she's learning, I have no idea what it is. And I think they have Common Core, which did not exist whenever I was in elementary school. So these things that they're talking about, I'm just sitting there like, what's that? And my nine-year-old is teaching her 39-year-old mother. So that's fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That's about all that's been going on in this household. I have been doing reselling. Reselling's been working. It hasn't changed much. It's not gotten worse, not gotten better. Um, last week on eBay and Poshmark together, I had 463 sales. $463 in sales, not 463 sales, I wish. Um, so yeah, $463 in sales. Um, if you want to know what my net profit is, you can... Uh, check out my Instagram. I'm going to have that in my stories tonight. I was going to go ahead and calculate everything up and put it in my stories. So that'll be posted about 9 or 10 tonight. Um, and you can go to this at Ally Bethany and find it there. Um, but yeah. So we've just been chilling. <laughs> not doing much. I did not put out a video on Saturday because to be quite honest, I was just too comfortable on the couch watching the news. That's where I've literally sat all day, every day on the couch. I've done everything from the couch. Um, I am a gamer. or Well, I used to be a gamer. I don't really game much anymore. So I still consider myself one, but I'm not. Um, I used to play a lot of video games, and then I quit. And it's very hard to go back to playing video games right now. Like, I kind of want to because it's something to pass the time. But I don't, so I've just been kind of chilling on the couch watching YouTube that's about all I've been doing and everybody's videos are the same they all have the same thing in the title and I guess quarantine is trending so um it won't be in my title because I'm not going to do that so I decided to start blogging again um 
and I was trying to type up a blog post to help people who are currently unable to work, who need to make money to help them because there's so many ways that you can still make money online. Um, and I have a lot of, you know, tutorial videos and stuff like that. I think I do have a video that tells you ways to make money, which I will link up here, I think. Um, a video I did a while back just telling different ways to, you can make money online. Um, you know, but the quickest way to make money online, if you're looking for a way to make money, is to sell things online. That's the quickest way because everything else requires writing a blog post and adding advertisements within it or um, affiliate links and stuff like that. So honestly, reselling is the quickest thing. Selling your stuff out of your closet, things that, you know, you were going to spring clean to get rid of, start selling them. I mean, that's what I would do. So, yep. I've been trying to get back into blogging and I realize how much I enjoy thrifting whenever it's been taken away. The thrift stores here are still open, but I'm not going into them because, no. I'm not taking a chance on getting sick because if you see how far and how deep into your sinus they have to stick that Q-tip to test you for the, the, the virus, yeah, absolutely not going to happen. Not on my watch. It's not happening. So I, I'm sticking to my house. I do have to go to the storage unit. I do sanitize my hands whenever I use the little keypad and all of that. I keep myself sanitized. I don't go around people. I did have to go shopping this morning to the grocery store and I stayed away from people but people would not stay the hell away from me so I had people who were like coming all up on me and these were people in their 50s and 60s that should have known better and it was just like they didn't even care I guess they have no no cares I don't know but uh I, I might be going a little overboard with this but I do not want to have to take that test that's all I can say I do not want to take that test so I have been trying to do my part. I hope everybody else is doing their part as well. You know, at first I didn't think this was a big deal, but now I think it is a little, it's, it's a little bit of a deal. You know, there's a lot going on and every day I keep waking up thinking, oh, the numbers are going to start going down now, but they just keep going up. It's not, it's not, they're not going down. And so this is scary. Anyway, I don't know. I hope everybody's taking the proper precautions, washing your hands, not touching your face. Even though touching your face is very hard habit to break, and I have yet to, to break that habit. I probably touched my face in this video. I don't know. Maybe. I've been going like this, so I don't, because I really do love touching my face. It's like, it's what I do, so... All right, I hope everybody has been doing well with reselling and everything. Um, you know, this is a time to help your neighbor. If you have, if you're young and you're healthy and you have an older relative or neighbor who is not able to go out, you know, give them a hand, help them, ask them if they need help, if they need anything from the store. When you go out, you know, just be mindful you know you don't have to come in contact with these people you can drop things off on their porch for them you can do things like that but just you know try to help out those who need help right now because a lot of people are going to be struggling here very very soon you know a lot of people in this country live paycheck to paycheck and it's it's going to be bad if they don't figure out something very soon well that's everything that's all that's been going on around here um yeah it's been pretty boring. I'm almost out of inventory to list and I can't go shopping. I've looked online, but I'm just like, eh, I don't really see anything worth getting. And when it comes to buying wholesale, the prices are just so high and I'm scared. So, I mean, I should just take a chance, but I don't know. If anybody knows anything about the Jomar, let me know, message me. And I would, I'd like a little more information about it. Like if there's like a minimum amount you have to buy from them, or I could just message them myself. But anyway, I guess that is it for now. I will talk to you all in my next video. And again, thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed to me. I am so appreciative towards you. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.